Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today I want to talk about why the PC building experience is actually getting worse instead of better, at least uh, to lead off 2018. Now I recently made a video about why uh, building a PC right now is not the greatest experience or rather it's just not really that great on your wallet and it looks like that's actually not going to change anytime in the immediate future. Now back when I originally talked about why building a PC right now is just not a great experience, the uh, primary driving factor there was the price of RAM, which my kit in my main PC behind me, which is a 16 gigabyte, 3000 megahertz G skill RGB kit. It's a very nice kit of RAM. Cost me about $155 when I purchased it. Right now, last I checked, it was around the $250 price point. So that's a big hike on RAM prices. But another reason I mentioned in that video talking about why building a PC right now isn't just a great value, especially for gaming, was that graphics cards, uh, their, their performances just don't match up very well with the prices that they're listed at, especially on the AMD side of things. And that ranges from the RX 470, 480, 570, 580, Vega 56, Vega 64, all of the AMD cards right now, their prices just don't match up at all with their gaming performance, and that's largely due to cryptocurrency mining. And by the way, full disclosure here, I do have some money in cryptocurrency, but we're not talking a big chunk. We're talking like less than $1,000, so uh, not really a lot like at all. But one of the saving graces of the graphics card market the last time I talked about this topic was the Nvidia graphics card prices were actually very much under control. You could get a GTX 1050 Ti for the $150, $160 price point and you could even get a 3 gigabyte uh, GTX 1060 with uh, some rebates or some deals for even under the $200 price point. So those prices were actually in line with where they should have been. And then along came 2018. Great start. So in case you haven't been keeping up on graphics card prices, maybe you just haven't been building a PC lately and you have better things to do, for which I understand, the GTX 1050 Ti right now, good luck getting a hold of one for under $200. Uh, it looked like $190-ish was about the cheapest one I could find looking around Newegg, Amazon, as well as some other websites. And right now the 1060s are going for close to $300 in a lot of cases. Though to be fair, the three gigabyte version of the 1060 is only going for something like, you know, $250, a full 50 or $60 more than it was about two weeks ago, but you know, whatever. And by the way, this is actually even affecting the lower end cards, like the GTX 1050 is up to nearly $150. It's actually starting to get close to that point where the GTX 1050 should be. So right now, if you're building a gaming PC, I would honestly really look at that used market and see if you can scrounge up a good deal on an older generation card like a 900 series from Nvidia, something that's gonna actually give you a decent card at a decent price and then just look to upgrade that component later on down the road when graphics card prices hopefully are back under control. Now like everything there are a few reasons that the Nvidia graphics cards are suddenly so expensive and one of those is definitely cryptocurrency mining. There are some Nvidia cards that are actually pretty good about mining. My brother actually told me that he's uh, been using his GTX 1050 Ti just for fun to see how it mines Ethereum and apparently per watt drawn it actually is about as efficient as his R RX 480, so that may be part of it, as well as going up to the 1060. The 1070 is a very solid mining card, as well as the 1080 Ti. I've not seen anything about the 1070 Ti, but I would imagine it's pretty solid as well. The other side to this puzzle seems to be the RAM prices that I actually mentioned in my last video about this topic. Uh, Samsung and Hynix are actually uh, diverting some of their resources away from graphics memory to actually make regular desktop memory, but then of course that makes uh, graphic card memory go up in price. We're about GDDR5 there. So this may be one of those uh, cases where we see desktop memory start to fall in price, but since graphics memory is going up, that component may actually make up for the reduced cost of regular desktop RAM. And that's really just not the fix that I was hoping for. So regardless of the reason behind it, we are definitely going to be stuck with high building costs for PCs for the foreseeable future. And that's really rough because the PC platform, at least in my mind, is a far superior platform for gaming than consoles. But again, this is gonna be something that does push people towards the higher end consoles, things like the PS4 Pro or the Xbox One X. And frankly, if I had a friend that was asking me what platform they should get on right now, I would not blame them if they went towards consoles because of the high building costs of a PC. 
But of course, I want to hear from you guys. Does the rising graphics card prices uh, affect your PC buying or building decisions moving forward? Or is it still the RAM that is keeping you off of upgrading or building a new PC? Let me know in those comments down below. I'll also go ahead and link a few like uh, GTX 1050 Ti's or 1060's down below so you can take a look at their current price points. Hopefully those go down by the time you're viewing this video. But if you like this content, give it a like, share, subscribe, and comment. You can follow me at uh, Instagram and on Twitter at Hoosier Hardware. Hardware. And as always, I'll let YouTube queue up a couple more videos from my channel for you to watch. I'm Shane with Hoosier Hardware, and I'll see you guys in the next video.